Welcome back. In this video we're going to walk you through the steps to select your facing and turning tools. So we're in the view tab. First let's hit fit. We'll bring this into view. Then we're going to hit the turning page. Over here in the general section let's click on face. So this first pop-up asks you if you want to change the name of your program. Uh, this one works fine for me, so we're going to click OK. And automatically that drops down and this window opens up. So we're going to choose this first tool, this, this uh, default tool, as our roughing and facing tool. So looking out here, it doesn't look like there's anything I want to change. Maybe we want to change the feed rate. Uh, leave that at ten thousandths. And let's see. Don't see anything I also want to change. So let's go to face parameters. Looking at that, I also don't see anything else I want to change. So we're going to just click OK. Save that and there it has drawn that. Now we're going to go over here in this general section and click on rough. And the chaining window opens. So it wants to know what is your first entry point. So I'm going to scroll on the center wheel so I can get a little bit closer and I'm going to click this first and you'll notice it's going in the wrong direction. So we, we want to turn in the other direction so let's click on this little icon here. We'll toggle it back and forth. Now we're going the right direction. Now it says select the last entity. So we're going to click this one here. And there is here a toolpath. That looks OK. So we're going to save that. Then this window pops up. We're going to use the same tool for rough turning as we did for facing. So we don't need to change anything there. We're going to click on rough parameters. We're going to leave 10,000 stock in X, but I think we're going to reduce that down to 5,000 in Z. The rest of that looks pretty good. Now we want to make sure this lead in lead out is checked. So let's click on lead in laid out and we're going to lead out and we want to extend extend or shorten the contour and we're going to extend that because we need to part that off and we had set that out away from the chuck jaws to 250 thousandths we're going to st extend that 200 thousandths so everything else looks good we'll save that and save again and it'll go through show you where your rough passes are and we're looking pretty good now we want to add our finish passes so we we'll click on finish and that same chaining window opens up now we could click on it and and select our chain if we wanted to but instead we're going to click on this bent arrow which picks the last chain which is exactly what we wanted to do anyway so we're going to click on that there it highlights that last chain so we're okay just go ahead and click on that and we want a different tool though for our finish I think I would like Let's see what we have There's our facing tool. Let's pick, pick on this one right here. So let's see. Maybe, let's see. Well, we got a window kind of still. Let's X out of this again. We'll uh, bring that back up. There we go. We're OK. This is OK. There it goes. We're getting kind of locked into. Uh, 
let's click this 55 degree right tool so we'll use that as our finish so we'll click on that one there it is finally this uh, software is getting a little glitchy tonight so tool number has changed automatically along with our offsets and our station so that's all good I don't see anything else we want to change there so let's click on finish parameters uh, looks like everything else we're gonna stick with there we're gonna save so once again we're gonna click on lead in lead out we will click on lead out we'll click on extend and again extend that two hundred thousandths we will save that one and the other thing we want to do click on corner break we'll click on that one and click on chamfer because that's what we're cutting on this chamfer we want to break those corners let's say five thousandths just so it isn't a dead sharp edge so everything else looks good we'll click OK to that and OK to that and after it's done its thing let's go ahead and right click on the face of this and when you do that then you can hit fit again there that is so the last thing we want to do is we want to verify this part so we're going to come over here to the tool paths and click on this select all operations so we make sure all these operations are selected green check mark in facing green check in roughing green check in finish and then we're going to click on this icon here to verify the selected operation. So I click on that. It takes a second, loads the program. So I'm going to right click on this again. get an isometric view we're going to turn that and we're going to look at our stop condition so we'll click on this down arrow and we want to stop at operation changes so when it's facing when it's rough turning when it's finished turning and also we want to stop at the tool changes so let's stop there so click anywhere on the face of this and we'll hit the play button and it will automatically and I'm going to slow that down a little bit because that went awfully fast so that faced really quickly now we're going to go through the roughing operation so There you see it taking each of its path that we programmed it to take. And there it changes tools to our finish. So there's our tool number over here, tool number two. We've changed to our finish tool. And we'll hit start again or play. And there it'll go through finish pass and radiuses and we are done so that all looks good we didn't see it crash in anything the part looks like we want to we're gonna go ahead and right click again bring this view back into top there looks like the part that we're looking we're trying to make and we'll go ahead and close out of this one and there is our part so we'll hit save and we are done so I want you to try this for yourself. If you have any questions, see me in class, and I will talk to you next time.